Oops, microphone was off. Hey everyone, welcome to the next uh, Pi game tutorial. In this one, we're actually going to get the health bar to work. So when we get hit, the uh, it'll act you'll actually see it shrink. Um, so the way we're going to do that, if you remember, our ship object has a HUD object, and that HUD object contains the health bar. One of the values we're going to need to get this working correctly is we'll have to pass the player's health value into the actual HUD, and then the HUD will in turn pass that value into the health bar, because we have to have the, the actual total health to get the, the math working so it can shrink. So I'm actually going to put this uh, HP variable above the HUD right here. And I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to make a uh, variable called max HP. I'm going to assign it, we're just going to say 10. And then I'm going to set the current HP, which I just called HP, to self.maxHP. And then I'm going to, when we create the HUD object, I'm actually going to pass, uh, I'm going to pass my, H, uh, my HP into the HUD. Right now it's complaining because we haven't, we have to go edit some code in the HUD, but I'm going to go back to the HUD. And I'm going to say, hey, it now requires a uh, some HP. So we've passed that in, and now we need to pass it into the health bar. So HP gets sent to the health bar, and then we'll go to the health bar class and say it requires some HP. And then what we'll do is we're going to make a variable called self dot uh, max HP kind of just like the player, which we're going to assign to HP and self.HP equals self.maxHP. So same thing we did with the player. Uh, it's got a variable called maxHP, which is the initial value that gets thrown in. And then the current HP, we just assign the maxHP because at the beginning you have full health. Um, and what I'm kind of going to do, because we're going to be constantly changing this image, and I need to constantly reference the full size image. So I'm going to make a, another variable called original image and equals pygame.image.load and we're going to load the health bar into it dot convert and then the current image when it starts off is just going to be the original image um, now what I, another value we need to do the math correctly and this is I need to get the width of the image so self dot uh, max width equals self dot image dot get width so that's the max width that this thing can be. <clears throat> and we got the rectangular properties. Um, now I wrote some notes here because I'm not, like I said, I'm not very good at math. So I'm having to look at this for the actual equation I had to use for it. Uh, so we're going to make a function called decrease uh, HP value. And what this is going to do is say uh, self health, or sorry, self HP minus equals one. And then once we've decreased the, the current HP value of the health bar, we need to redraw the image. So self.image equals uh, pygame.transform. We're transforming the current health bar to make it a little smaller. So dot scale and self.image and this is where I got to read my notes here so it was self so we're taking the max width uh, multiplying it by the current health and then dividing that by the max health so max HP uh, so that is actually uh, yeah that's so that's for the uh, the width and then the height will just be self.rec.height. Um, now once we create this new image, we need to kind of get its right. Uh, every time you change like the size of an image or something, you have to re-get its rectangular attributes. So, um, But we also want to make some temporary variables to store the current location of where it's currently at. So when we get the new rectangular attributes, we can uh, pass the current position into the new rectangular attributes. It'll make sense when I do it. So its current x is self.rec.x and its current y is self.rec.y. Uh, those are just temporary. Temporary. We're grabbing uh, the current rec, uh, x and y. And now we got to do a new rectangle, uh, get a new rectangle from it. So self 
dot image dot get rect. And now that we got this new rectangle, we want to set its coordinates back to what they were before. So self dot rect dot x equals x and self dot rect dot y equals y. All right, so that should work. Um, so now the only thing we need to do is when the player gets hit. Um, let me check my notes here. I think I made a function called uh, decrease health or something like that. So let me check. Uh, we ship. Oh, so yeah, we'll, we'll do this. So self, uh, right when we subtract HP, we'll do self, we'll access the HUD, and then um, we'll access the health bar that's in the HUD and access its a decrease HP value. So this should work. Let's go ahead and test it out. So now if we get hit, then I have 10 HP, so I get hit 10 times. And it'll probably crash once we get hit and go into the negative. Yeah, and that's because we didn't handle for if it goes below zero. So let's go back to the health bar. And when the HP gets subtracted, we need to do a check for if it's less than zero. So if self.hp is less than or equal to, well, just less than zero, uh, we need to, uh, we'll just keep it at zero for now. There we go. And let me check something else on my end. Um, health bar. Actually, no, let's do this. I'm gonna, I'm actually, I didn't put this in my notes, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a method called def uh, reset health to max. And what it'll do is self dot HP, it's gonna do all the same stuff this thing does, but it resets the player's health. So like if, if he dies and uses one of his lives to come back, it'll reset his health to max. So self to HP minus one, uh, but we, we don't wanna do that. We wanna assign it back to self dot max HP. And then in the ship class, we'll handle for if he gets below zero. So if his HP is less than or equal to zero, uh, let me check something real quick. Yeah, so uh, self.death. And okay, so if his HP is less than or equal to zero, it's uh, going to run this death function. And the death function is going to subtract uh, one from the lives and set his HP back to self.max HP. And then it's gonna access the HUD again and access the health bar and reset health to max. So let's see if this works. And actually, let's make a, just so we don't have to wait as long, let's give him three hits. One, two, and it crashed. So why did it crash? Uh, cannot scale to a negative, so it's still going into the negative. So let's find out what's happening. So we're subtracting one from his health. He's at two, redraws the uh, health bar. Two, one. So if he has one, it subtracts one and goes into zero, drag, draws the health bar. And then it should go in here and run the death function. And it should redraw the health bar, so it should work but let's find out why it's not. So let's go back to the health bar file. Oh, I'm subtracting max HP. I just need to assign it max HP. So let's see, one, two, and it should reset after this. And it didn't. Now one thing I'm noticing, it did redraw it, but it's drawing, if you can see it, it's drawing a black health bar instead of the green one. So let's find out why that is. So <clears throat> my health bar, I got my original image, uh, which is the health bar image. That's fine. Uh, my current image is the original image. And when I decrease my HP, uh, we're just scaling the, uh, oh, we're scaling the current image. I need to scale 
the I always need to scale the original image because that's the one that's never changing. If we're scaling the current image, it's uh it's gonna cause issues. We're always gonna reference the original image. So one, two, and object no attribute original. I typoed something. Sorry guys, um, but that's part of programming is just fixing these bugs. One, two, three. There it resets. And it reset and subtracted one of his lives. We haven't put lives on here yet, but we will do that in the future. Um, so for the rest of this video, there's a couple things I kind of want to fix. Um, if you notice when I kill the enemy, their explosion moves down as well. I kind of want the explosion just to stay where I've shot them. So let's fix that. Uh, I'm going to go to enemy.py, and that's on the get hit method. So this section of code right here, that if their HP is less than or equal to zero, I'm actually going to set their velocity Y to zero and velocity X to zero. So that should make them actually stop when they get shot. And it just, I just think it looks a lot better. Are still working. All right, cool. Um, the next video, I actually downloaded a sprite sheet that's a little heart animation, or it's like a little heart that twirls. I'm gonna adjust the position of this health bar and put like a little heart icon that animates and it kind of bounces around and it, it looks pretty cool. I tested it out earlier and uh, we'll get that on the screen. I'll show you how kind of a, a looping animation works. It works pretty much identical to that explosion, but we're just gonna uh, keep it looping. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video.